Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are playing with super affordable, incredible lip products, and I am really excited about these. I initially purchased them thinking they were liquid lipsticks, as in my brain goes to like liquid lipsticks that dry down matte. It's the biggest trend ever. And they had the plastic thing on them and no tester because these are drugstore. So I couldn't like be in the store like swatching up my hand. So I'm really happy to do this video so that you guys know what these products are all about. I found these at Ulta, but I know in my hometown of Seattle at Fred Meyer, they carry Essence. Over in Europe, Essence Cosmetics is in the drugstore and I'm sure it's elsewhere aside from Ulta, just here in California. California, that's where I happen to find it. These are gorgeous. Look at the color matching lid. Isn't that cute? I just think the packaging is fabulous. What these remind me an awful lot of are a product from Maybelline that is around seven, eight dollars, which is like double the price of these. Uh, and the texture is actually very similar as well, but like the packaging is similar too. Let me like put in like a little like a little picture. I loved those when they first launched Maybelline Color Elixirs. I think that's what it is. I loved those when they first launched, but the scent of them kind of makes me go, Ugh. it's really chemically rose floral. I remember in a video being like, it dries down, it's fine. But then when I would go to reach for like a lipstick or a gloss, I would think in my head like, I like that, but I like something without that nasty scent a little bit better. But that being said, the texture, the shine, the color, everything about the formula was really, really great. So my point is these guys right here, formula wise, remind me so much of the Maybelline elixirs, except for without the scent. I wanna show you guys how pigmented these truly are. So I'm just gonna show you just like a one swatch down. That is just one swipe. Look at that. Oh my goodness and these are three dollars and 49 cents so good and no scent no scent at all they are not terribly sticky where they separate on the lips i've layered like three on my mouth today i was just like more 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 and that's another thing i really like especially about the lighter shades is this nude kind of one it layers really beautifully on top of the lighter pinky shades and just makes it a really dimensional beautiful just special shade. Let me just show you like another one swatch because these are just crazy. Look, right? Um, hi, I just spent $85 on a single freaking Louboutin lip gloss and lo and behold, I find like a $3.50 alternative. Yay. I love these, clearly. We're starting out the video by me saying, yes, these are hot. They are totally worth $3.50. Go to Ulta, go to Fred Meyer, buy them. Um, they are beautiful, like the color range is great. You got some gorgeous corals, mauve, pink, nude, you got it all. Um, you, except for you don't get a red, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. So let's hop to me actually trying on the colors. And I am going to place the color name inside the insert because I am the dodo that decided to rip off the plastic part that had the name on it. But I will do some investigating online and I will get you the proper names of these. I will also include it in the description box below. P.S. Do we like my eye situation? I feel like I have like Cleopatra vibes or something like with all the jewelry and like this super intense wing. I kind of like it. Um, I am wearing on my eyes a hot product of the week. You guys want to definitely check out Style Code Live tonight. I will be there in the chat hanging out with you guys as usual, snapping in real time. And I just love watching the show. I genuinely have fallen in love with the show. Like, yes, I have my segment, but I really like watching it. They have really good style advice. It's just, I don't know, and I like the cast. So check out the description box for a link to go watch it 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. I better see you there. Okay, now on to the try on portion of this video. So first we will try on the very lightest. We'll go light to dark. And this shade is absolutely stunning. It is just very nudie and will really perk up any of your other glosses, not just ones in this collection, but any of your glosses that need not necessarily a brightening nude, but kind of something to almost tone it down and still be really glossy. This one is beautiful. Then we have what I'm wearing in this video. I do have a little bit of the nude mixed in with it, but this one is so pretty. 
I just love the shade of it. It's like this really pretty Barbie pink, but it actually looks very neutral and a little bit dulled down and is just very, very flattering. Then we have this gorgeous deeper mauve pink. This one is still very neutral in daytime, but it is a little bit deeper or if your skin tone is a little bit deeper, it's going to be more of a natural neutral on you. I just think this is a very universally flattering shade and I love it. Then we have the same tone, but just a little bit darker and a little more berry. And I also love this one. I think it's probably the most pigmented out of the six. And reminds me most of the Louboutin lip lacquers. It's just very shine, 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 opaque. Kind of a thing. So this is a melted down liquid lipstick that is very, very shiny. Then we have your coral one, which is surprisingly wearable and very flattering on its own. If you want it to be really bright, that's fine. Or you can kick off a little bit of that nude gloss in the center and it looks really nice. Then we have this kind of watermelon coral that is like super bright. I actually surprisingly still really enjoy this one. I don't know what the deal is, but recently I feel like when a collection launches and I grab every single shade, I really challenge myself to try every shade out with lip products and I'm kind of stepping out of the comfort zone because I used to think anything outside of just like a pinky nude was like a no for me and now I love everything. I'm like browns, watermelon, coral, orange. I just, I love it all. I hope you guys enjoyed me bringing you a more affordable option from the drugstore that is not just like, oh, well, if you're on a budget, then these will work. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I love these. These are hot. I'm happy I discovered them. Even though I have this crazy makeup collection, I'm still gonna reach for these because they're good and they compete with my high-end products. So when I can say that, I really feel like I've done a good job kind of hunting down something that works. Remember to join me on Style Code Live tonight in the live chat, be sure to say hi, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Whatever you are doing, I'm sending you so much love and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.